Roll over. Oh, now all the pedestals are up, the player must activate them in the right order to open the doors. Roll Sound over. cues tell the player if they are incorrect. Oh, that's not it. In this next section of the map, the player must chase Malay through a series of tunnels, following her deeper into the base. The main threat in this area are the rocket emplacements, as well as the player's driving ability. Lava material is custom made within the material area. In this scene you see Malay's escape, blocking Riker's exit. He then crashes, and the gameplay continues. After climbing some necros tentacles up to a small cave, the player uses their flashlight to navigate through to a weapons testing area. Here the player sees the necros super turret test firing on a Goliath. Riker hints that he may be able to use it himself. Whoa, that's a little unfair. Try to get behind If I get close enough, I might be able to use it myself. While jumping the platforms, a sniper rifle is picked up and the other is an army agent's body. I have added small comical scenes and voice clips to keep the player interested. After defeating the enemies behind the wall, the player can use the turret to break the wall into the compound. In this run, the player acquires some heavy weapons and an invulnerability pickup to take on more enemies before advancing to the core. After activating the upload, the material changes on another custom mesh to display the upload progress. Right, let's do this. Every 20% uploaded, a new wave of box form with increasingly powerful weapons. There are two labs which show various events going on. The consoles outside these can be hacked into, 
leading to another entertaining sequence. After the core is disabled, one of the doors open and the player advances onwards. Malaise is seen in the next room. You cannot defeat us. Jacob, what do I do? Use your initiative. The player has two choices which lead to different events. Get out of here now. If you let her go, she will enter a Dark Walker, which the player must kill using the nearby Avril before proceeding. I have attached dummy weapon fire target points to the Dark Walker. These allow it to randomly fire stinger shards, rockets, or shock rifle beam at the player. The player then exits the base on another lift to the surface and is picked up by Jacob. Back at the ship, the bonus room is unlocked, and also the option is given to view the alternate ending. This ending skips the boss fight and leads straight to the ending sequence. You're dead. The bonus room shows portraits of the voice actors. I'm very happy with my map. It's been fun and I've spent a long time working on it with the help of the Mastering Unreal books. If I made it again, I would improve the animations at the beginning of the level and use animation blending. I would also turn down the volume of Jacob's Cicada even further, as this was brought up in changing map testing. Although the map ran fine at 30 FPS in the labs, some parts were a little slow, particularly the near Chris super turret as the mesh is quite high poly. I would change it for a different or a custom mesh. I have a lot of kismet in my level, over 2000 nodes and over 60 matinee sequences. I have organised these within one sequence in kismet, as when I added them into separate sequences, several named variables would not link up and effectively broke the level. I had to revert to an earlier save. By having custom music events, music is counted as a sound instead of music, and therefore cannot be changed on a global level. This made it hard to get the volume of speech and sound effects just right. At some points the music is quite overpowering. Here are the ambient sounds within my level. Thanks for watching. Oh, smack.